Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's video, we edit terms only. The investment that we'll talk today will be Ethereum ticket ETH. Just want to say happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you're very great week so far. And we are basically one day before our weekend coming, so we're very excited for that. And respect to Ethereum, as of this morning, as I'm recording around 9, 12 a.m. on the East Coast, it's currently trading around like the $19.69 level, kind of hovering around, like trying to hit that above $2,000 level ever since that four consecutive sell days that we've had ever since that FOMC meeting. So I'm going to go through a technical analysis again to see how will the equity market, you know, as you can see, we have been pumping quite significantly in the recent days so far, ever since that, you know, Michelle Bowman speech that we had yesterday. And also with respect to a lot of pause and media affectation coming from the growth stocks on the sector rotation and the EV stocks as well, knowing the fact that Tesla is up about 5% and subsequently have a lot of direct correlations dragging a lot of uh, the growth and the EV stocks up as well, which will obviously have some anti-correlation effect into the crypto market. So I'm going to go through the resistance level to see, with respect to the $2,000 level that we're currently at right now, how sustainable is it, right? Or are we going to see more of a sell-off coming? Or are we going to see more of a breach going forward to be above the $2,000 level to completely revive from the sell-off that we've had endured so far? So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. Moving on to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH, as I'm recording around 9.32 a.m. right now, as of on the East Coast right now, you can see that Ethereum is currently trading around 19.67, up about 3.26%. And with respect to the equity market right now, you know, as you remember, yesterday the green, it was a relatively green day across the whole index, right? You could see how extremely overbought we are at all levels, despite you know, MACD slowly crossing on the SPY side and also on the NASDAQ side, you can see how extremely overbought right now. So I, I do see some see some selling pressure across the equity market today, knowing the fact you, you're already seeing it somehow. You see that Tesla is currently going down a little bit. You can see that NEO is already going down. And I think we are seeing um, a, some sort of a cross section going on that's slowly fusing together and also on the on the fact that RSI is highly overbought right now that we should see some more selling pressure across the you know equity market today just to normalize a little bit right while on the opposite side of the spectrum with that anti-correlation effect will subsequently drive up some buying pressure and I think we're seeing this right in front of our eyes right now uh, that Ethereum is up about you know 3.28 percent right now and you could see how extremely oversold that we have been, um, you know, ever since that four consecutive day sell off, right? And just to recap on the June 15 with that FOMC meeting, uh, with Jerome's depictions around the inflationary outlook, which subsequently drive positive pressure to the equity market, anti correlates with the crypto market, which subsequently drive some sell down. And also on the Sunday, we had that James Bowler article with respect to his depictions around the economical outlook going forward and the inflationary outlook going forward. Subsequently, another negative pressure on both the equity and the crypto market. And then the most recent time, it's mega red candle with respect to the Chinese media affectations on the, you know, the mining, uh, the crypto mining crackdown across the whole entire, entire Chinese nation, uh, which, you know, frankly, in my opinion, is more like a media affectation you play. Um, I mean, mining Bitcoin and the technological infrastructure that you need to sustain of the mining of the Bitcoin with the electricity that's in play, you know, that's, that can have anti-correlations to obviously the pollutions and environmental efficacies, if you may. I mean, that's an issue that has been cultivating for quite some time now. So all of a sudden, China decided to shut it down. Uh, it just seems a little bit too coincidental to me on top of the four consecutive negative media affectation that we've had so far. So I think it was more of um, a political play and also with a lot of corporate manipulations at the same time that a lot of institutions were looking to buy a lower price point, right? And I think the ones that were, you know, thoughtful and logical with respect to the technical analysis and understand how to read the charts and see, you know, their BS, if you may, right, are able to buy at the dips that we have had. The, you know, I would say it was a, definitely a, a, a an opportune a buying opportunity that was godsend, if you may, right? And I, I was very fortunate to buy uh, at a relatively good level, right? At 1730, uh, from, that was my uh, cost average that I bought at that level. But subsequently, as you see, we are up, you know, quite a lot right now, right? And with respect to what I see going forward right here, 
knowing the fact that you could see some selling pressure across the equity market already that we should be seeing some pump up um you know onto the crypto side and you could see that rsi is kind of over you know dipping up right now and also on top of the fact that you see the macd slowly crossing you could see a little bit of a curvature here right with more propensity to go upward from here so i do foresee you know a little bit of um uh, um a buying pressure in the crypto market today ahead of tomorrow but as you remember right tomorrow is a kind of a binary day right number one we have we know that tomorrow you know in a normal cadence fridays and saturdays are typically negative days right because people like to take profit people like to move on to the weekend without worrying about their security of their you know price level of their crypto right so we should see some selling pressure for a lot of the short-term investors but also on top of the fact tomorrow is the options expiry right so that's like a kind of a mixed batch that we don't really have for like full visibility or transparencies into people's appetites and how they're executing the contracts or what strike price do they have in their contracts right that's something we don't have ideas of right but we know how we can risk mitigate by understanding the technical analysis and to dollar cost average at the optimal levels, right? So I think if we crash down tomorrow, right, let's say we pump up to 2000 and we're kind of fluffing from there. I think the next level that we crash down would be back to the $1969 level. And I think that's a fair look level two dollar cost average at knowing the fact that we're forming some sort of a consolidation at the moment but if it's more severe than we expected right i think crashing down to the 1850 which is another level of substantiveness that we've had in the past would be ideal right but my ideal level is more like the 1750 right which i kept mentioning over and over again in my last four or five videos so far now right i think 1750 is a beautiful number to buy it and i will continue the dollar cost average at if we get there right and are we going to go down to like a more of a substantive resistance level like back in a day long long time ago back in basically march or sometimes around yeah like early march are we going to go down to like the 1559 i think the likelihood of that would be relatively low knowing the fact that again right just to look at the rsi is highly oversold macd is already crossing up so i do see some bullishness coming despite tomorrow but in the logical perspective normal supply and demand dynamics we should be re reviving very shortly and the chart is showing up it's very bullish based on what i see so far but contingent on tomorrow right uh if tomorrow you know the option market is very binary and we're shifting more the positive side um despite some selling pressure coming from the short-term investors for the weekend affectation we might be pumping up a little bit but not a lot because of the net net cancels out effects right um and also on saturday as well right which will will have that into full fruition uh but by sunday we should be relatively green you know contingent on normal black swan events right because i realized that every sunday we always hear something crazy you know um that can change the course of nature for the market dynamics right which happened in the last three consecutive weekend so far so something to be aware of but those are the levels that i would dollar cost average at to recap on all the numbers real quick uh with respect to the levels to buy at um despite you know today should be a relatively good day you know contingent on how it's going to be shaking out tomorrow which is still an up in the air kind of binary uh opportunity that we have to gauge tomorrow um that the 1860 will be the optimal level for you to risk mitigate right and i think the 1750 will be an even more attractive level to risk mitigate uh are we going to get to the 1580 uh i think the likelihood of us to do so would be relatively low again right because the rsi is already so oversold uh that with respect to the curvature that we see on the macd we should be reviving reviving very shortly uh, with respect to my price target, 20% corporate adoptions, uh, 12 months price target, $9,800. We subsequently generate if you buy at the $1860 level or one of the lucky ones, even the, at the $1750, you know, more than 5.3 times your money, um, you know, 12 months from now. So for there, with respect to my technical analysis on Ethereum ticket ETH, hopefully this is helpful in giving you more clarity and transparencies about how we're going to be shaking out in the near future and how you could risk mitigate by dollar cost averaging at, at the optimal levels that you want to execute the price point at. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, please give me any questions if you have any questions and please kindly hit the like button, subscribe button, also the bell notification and watch out for the next one coming up. Take care. Bye.